In the Paris release of ServiceNow, Hardware Asset Management includes a mobile audit feature. In the mobile audit feature, there's the ability to audit a stockroom and the ability to audit a location. With mobile audit, you'll be able to inventory a stockroom or location directly from a mobile device without being at a computer or logged directly into an instance. You can open an audit directly from your phone, batch scan devices, complete the audit all directly from your mobile device, and results are recorded in your ServiceNow instance against that audit. Multiple technicians can audit the same stockroom or location at the same time, where all the scanned results from each of their devices are combined under the same audit record. Matthew Taylor is a stockroom supervisor, and he is in charge of multiple stockrooms and locations in San Diego. Matthew recently received a call from the finance manager. The finance manager recently dropped off two laptops at a stockroom location in San Diego. But when he looks in service now, he still sees that those two laptops are assigned to his finance department. Matthew needs to verify. Matthew will do an audit of the stockroom where the finance manager dropped the laptops off. Since the two laptops that were dropped off are MacBooks, Matthew will do an audit of the stockroom for all the MacBooks that he has to see if those two laptops are actually in the stockroom. Under IT Asset Management, Matthew opens up Stockroom Audits. He then selects the three dots at the upper right corner to create a new stockroom audit. From here, he can select which stockroom he wants to do a stockroom audit for. He selects a stockroom audit with a check. He hits the Submit button in the upper right corner and a new stockroom audit has been created. Because Matthew has created the stockroom audit, the stockroom audit is now assigned to him. He then selects the stockroom audit that he just created under Open Stockroom Audits. This opens up the Open Stockroom Audits detail screen. At the very bottom, he can select Scan, and from here, he will scan the barcodes for all the MacBooks in his stockroom. After each device is scanned, on the bottom, there is a review button with the number of devices that have been scanned. When he has scanned all the MacBooks in this stockroom, he selects the review button to see the list of all MacBooks that have been scanned. When Matthew is done reviewing the results, in the upper right corner, he selects Submit. This again opens up the Stockroom Audit Details page. Here he can see that five assets were scanned. When he is done, in the upper right corner, he will select the three dots again to complete the Stockroom Audit. Finally, on the main IT Asset Management page, the status of the stockroom audit has been changed to complete. Matthew then presses New Update to refresh the IT Asset Management screen. Matthew then goes back into the ServiceNow instance, opens up the completed audit record. He sees the list of the five assets scanned during the audit. Of the five MacBooks scanned, two assets were listed as being in use instead of being in the stockroom. He opens up each asset record, changes the status to in stock, and updates the stockroom value to the current stockroom where the MacBooks are located. Finally, Matthew blanks out the department field. He then calls the finance manager to tell him that the two MacBooks that had been dropped off have been found in the stockroom and they are no longer listed as being in his department. Matthew then receives an email from the contracts department. The email outlines that the lease on Lenovo ThinkCenter M73 computers is about to end. They really need to replace these computers soon and return these Think Centers back to the lesser before they have to pay a higher lease fee to keep using those computers. Matthew's pretty sure that there are no Think Centers at any of his locations, so he checks in service now, and sure enough, he sees none in the list. But he's a little unsure about the 815 E Street location, so he decides to do a location audit of that location to see if any of the users have these devices. On his mobile device, under IT Asset Management, he selects Location Audits. In the upper right, he selects the three dots to create a new location audit. From here, he can select which location he wants to audit. Since he's unsure about 815 E Street, he searches for that location. When 815 E Street comes up in the selection, he selects that with a check mark. And then in the upper right corner, he selects Submit to create the brand new audit for the 815 E Street location. He selects New Update, and this creates the brand new location audit that is assigned to Matthew. 
He then selects the location audit. He sees the details for the location. He then presses scan to start inventorying the assets at the 815 E Street location. Since this location is rather large, Matthew brought five techs with him. Luckily, all five techs and Matthew can log into the same location audit at the same time to scan all of the devices at this location. Matthew then scans in some devices. When he's completed his scanning, he selects the review button to see all the devices that he has scanned in during this audit. When Matthew is done reviewing the results, in the upper right corner, he selects Submit. When Matthew and all five technicians have completed the audit of the location, Matthew goes to the upper right corner and selects the three dots. He now has the option to complete the audit. He selects Complete to close out this location audit. Matthew then goes back into the ServiceNow instance, opens up the audit record for the location audit that was just completed. He looks at the list of the ThinkCenter M73 devices that were scanned at this location. He did not expect them. He opens up each of the records to see the details of that asset. He sees that the users assigned to these assets have recently transferred to this location. He will contact each of these users and their managers to coordinate the replacement of their M73 devices with a newer, actively leased device. Matthew will then open up an incident covering both users to swap out their current M73 device for a new device that is actively leased. In the demos, we saw that we could inventory a stockroom or location directly from our mobile device. We can open the audit, batch scan multiple devices, complete the audit directly from our phone. We also saw that an important capability of mobile audit is that multiple technicians can audit the same location or the same stockroom at the same time, recording the results against the same audit record. For more information, go to servicenow.com slash ITAM. Thank you.